Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to get you to show off your counting skills. Oh sure, you think to yourself, I already know what counting is. One, two, three, four, five, right? And that you've known how to count forever. But did you know that counting is a set of skills that starts with one, two, three, four, five, and then becomes something quite fantastic? Humans have been asking questions such as how far, how many, and how big for a long, long time. We answer these questions by counting and not just basic one-to-one -one counting. We need a whole set of fancy counting skills to do it. Here, let me show you what I mean. Under my hand, there are a certain number of objects. When I lift my hand, see if you can tell me how many objects there are. Could you tell? I'm guessing that you could see there were three objects. Did you need to count one, two, three, or could you just tell at a glance? If you could just tell, that means you were subitizing. Subitizing is knowing how many there are without counting one to one. You can also subitize larger quantities by splitting the group into parts that you can easily see without counting. Are you ready? Do you see the group of four and the group of five? When you subitize this way, it is often paired with another handy counting skill, adding four plus five equals nine, right? Subitizing and adding is a much faster way to count than using a one-to-one -one counting strategy. Now, if we make groups that have the same amount, you could still subitize and add, but you could use another handy counting skill, skip counting. You might count 5, 10, 15, 20, and figure out the total faster than you can add. Of course, you could also use an even faster counting strategy, multiplying. You might have noticed that there are four groups of five, which is the same as four times five. If you know your multiplication facts, you will know the total is 20 very, very quickly. Let's try a few examples of some counting tasks. First, I'm going to ask you to try counting the dots on these dominoes. Pause the film and give it a whirl. How might you count these dots? What is your favorite counting strategy? If you counted the dots one at a time, that means you were most comfortable with the slow but reliable one-to-one -one counting method. If you noticed that the dots were grouped by three or by six, then you were subitizing. To figure out the total from there, you might have used a skip counting strategy, counting by threes or sixes, or you might have chosen to add. Six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus one is 31. The fastest way though, if you know how to do it, is to multiply. Five sixes or five times six equals 30 plus one more, equals 31. And there you go. A complete set of options for answering the question, how many? Let's try another example. What might be the total value of these cards? Remember to pay attention to your favorite counting strategies. It is possible that you counted the shapes on the cards one at a time. One-to-one -one counting is a little slow, but it does work when you need it. You could also have subitized the shapes on the cards, although there is already numerals on each card to show you how many. You might even have chosen skip counting as a strategy, skip counting those eights, of course, but it's more likely that you either used an adding strategy, eight plus eight plus eight equals 24, plus one extra four gives you 28. Or maybe you use the fastest strategy, multiplying. Three times eight equals 24. Then just add the extra four in order to find the total value. No matter how you choose to count, it is important to know that these strategies are like trusty tools that you carry with you all the time, ready to use whenever you need them. One-to-one -one counting, slow, 
but certain. Subitizing for quickly making sense of groups of objects. Skip counting by twos, fives, tens, or any other number can be a handy tool for figuring out how many when you don't yet know how to multiply. Adding is fast and necessary when groups of objects are different sizes and, just like skip counting, is something that you do when you don't yet know how to multiply. And when you're faced with multiple groups all the same size, multiplying becomes your best and fastest choice. And there you have it. A toolbox of essential counting tools for answering that age-old question, how many?